We're here at the Duquesne Club in downtown Pittsburgh, where the judging is underway for the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Ernst & Young has been recognizing innovators and entrepreneurs from our region for more than 25 years now. So there's really nobody better than the folks in this room to give us a sense of the state of entrepreneurship in our region, the opportunities, and some of the issues. So Marley Myers from Morgan Lewis, I mean, you've been following entrepreneurship in our region for quite some time. How do you think we're doing relative to where we've been? Well, I think basically we're doing great compared to where we've been. You know, if you dial back the clock, say 25 years, entrepreneurship was kind of an unheard of idea in our region. There were some awesome new companies getting started, but they weren't, they hadn't caught the imagination of the community. And I think that today we've got a very vibrant, innovative entrepreneurial community in Pittsburgh. It's still smaller than I'd like it to be. I'd love to see more growth. But I think that we have a lot of the ingredients now that we didn't have 20 years ago, and we're really moving in the right direction. Pittsburgh's part of what you would consider Midwest, and I think oftentimes folks defer to the West Coast and the East Coast, and really when you look at the statistics and look at the funding and the dollars that were spent in 2013 as far as backing, whether it be from venture funds, angel investors, accelerators, and IPOs, Pittsburgh actually is ahead of the nation. So if you were to look at the nation as far as dollars raised in 2013, there was a slight increase of around 1%. Pittsburgh's at 2%, which, hey, it's great. It's showing that we're above what the nation's trending from a dollar perspective. The one thing that's really interesting is that deal-wise, if you were to compare us against other areas across the United States, we're third. Ahead of us is Boston and then Austin and then Pittsburgh. Boston and Austin and Pittsburgh. For 2013, yes. Wow, that, that's remarkable. It really shows a lot of smart money in America is finding its way to our region. And it's about time, right? <laughs> well, a big night for E&Y. Anderson Young's been doing this for a long time. You know, really, we're approaching our 30th year. I think, really, you know, we're about 27 years into having this program, uh, which is, you know, a regional program now, but it culminates with a national program in Palm Springs and a global program in Monte Carlo. It's exciting, the energy, the people you meet, meet are just uh, over the top in terms of creativity, energy, and new ideas, and you forget there's all these companies in our region that are creating new ways to do old things or, old, or renovating old ways of doing things in ways that make great profit and great excitement, lots of jobs, and it, it has been totally refreshing and we're delighted to do it. The emerging technologies that are coming forward and some of the companies is really impressive. That's probably been the biggest and most pleasant surprise that I've had as a judge. But I'll give you one example, Duolingo, really a fascinating story out of Carnegie Mellon. Uh, and, and that's the other interesting thing is the number of stories that are connected to Carnegie Mellon University or University of Pittsburgh. It's just really exciting. Well, they really become the innovation engines for the region in a lot of ways. They sure do. They sure do. And, and you know, as a manufacturer who's celebrating 100 years in business here in, in Pittsburgh, it's just exciting to me and rewarding to me to see so many young, new startup companies that can really change the world in so many ways. You know, my sense is that entrepreneurship is very, very, very alive in our region. You know, today we have 32 CEOs that are doing great things um, and really representing our region, region well. You know, I think, you know, you take a look at some of this, the statistics, you know, in Pittsburgh alone, in the region, we've invested or have had invested over 350 million in capital in these organizations that ultimately are, are doing a great job solidifying Pittsburgh and placing us on the map. And it really is important, these smaller, faster growing business, that's, that's where the jobs are. You know, I think there are studies out there that literally indicate that from a jobs perspective, over 90% of the jobs that are getting created are in entrepreneurial organizations or what I'll call strategic growth companies. Literally. So, you know, this group of people that we're talking to tonight, 
and that we're focused on really is doing their part in driving our economy here in southwestern Pennsylvania. You won this award a couple of years ago. I mean, you're running a big company, you've been around for a hundred years, still means something to you to get an honor like this? <laughs> of course it does. Sure, it's exciting. You know, to be an entrepreneur uh, means that, that you're leading a group of, company, uh, a group of people, um, you're taking risks, you're setting strategy, you're being innovative, and so it's a, it's a great honor. It was a great privilege for me to accept that award and, and to, be, uh, to be nominated to begin with and then to, to be awarded that uh, and then to go into the Nationals uh, was pretty exciting. Next up, we'll hear from some of the entrepreneurs themselves, the semi-finalists of the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Awards when our region's business returns. <laughs>